Hey, what's going on guys? What is happening YouTube? It is Johnny with Rules for Rebels and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to tell what WordPress theme that a blog or website or even an e-commerce store that you like is using. So um, recently I've been delving a bit more into WordPress. Um, in the past I have had a couple WordPress affiliate sites as well as a couple WordPress stores but I always hired somebody to make them for me. Now the prices to get a website made in the U.S. are ridiculous, unless you hire just some contractor off like Craigslist or Upwork, um, which, you know, it's kind of a toss-up the type of quality you're going to get. Most, like, real boutique web design firms you're going to find around here, like, won't touch a product for a project for, like, under 20 grand, which is, like, ridiculous to me. So I used to wind up hiring Indian companies to design them for me. The same site that somebody else was going to charge me 15 or 20 grand for, I would normally get built for, you know, 2300 bucks, 3300 bucks, something like that. So much, much cheaper. Uh, the only downside is a little bit of a language barrier trying to work with them. And oftentimes for conference calls and things like that, I'd have to stay up till like, you know, midnight, one in the morning just to start a conference call. But recently I've been delving a little bit more into WordPress. I've been wanting to learn it a little bit more. Um, and I've been thinking about kind of revamping the whole, like kind of coming up with like a, a home site for Rules for Rebels YouTube channel and all this other stuff. So I was kind of taking a look at some other uh, WordPress sites and themes and things like that. Um, so what did I do? I looked to other people in my niche, other people who are doing similar things to what I do. So I would encourage you guys to do the same thing. If you want to start an affiliate site, if you want to start an e-commerce site, etc., look at what some of your competitors are doing to kind of take some tips. Don't copy somebody, put your own style on it, but see what other people are doing. So I, I went and checked out like Alex Becker's website and Startup Brothers and some of these other guys. Um, and, you know, I just kind of took some bits and pieces of each of their sites that I like, but let's say hypothetically I wanted to know what theme they were using. So for this example, I'm going to use uh, shoemoney.com. Shoemoney.com is, I believe the kid who runs this, uh, not a kid anymore, a uh, grown man now, but uh, Joe Shoemaker, I think is his name, um, and he has this famous picture. This was like viral years back. He had a, an AdSense check for one month for $132,000 uh, just off, you know, AdSense marketing. So uh, this picture went viral years ago. This is from back in the made for AdSense days. He's one of the kind of iconic affiliate marketers out there. But um, let's say I want to see what theme he's using. I would go up to, I know you guys can't see the address bar, but I'm going to copy and paste uh, Shoe Money. And we're going to come over to this site, which is called WPThemeDetector.com. Um, and all we're going to do is plug in the theme and click that. And while it's thinking, let me talk a little bit more about this. So there is a way to manually do this. You can go to any site, right click and inspect element, and then search for style.css, and you should be able to find a theme. Uh, but this kind of shortens the whole process and uh, will tell you the theme as well as link you to where you can buy it. So normally this does take like 20 or 30 seconds to uh, to populate here. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Oh, you know, there we go. Okay, so his theme is the My Theme Shop AdSense Child theme. Um, so if we wanted to, we, we could click that and go buy it. Um, but let's say hypothetically that this site didn't work and didn't pull it up. What we could also do is go back to uh, shoemoney.com. We could right click inspect and then control F for find and we would type in style.css and as you can see here AdSense child theme it says it right there. So um, if you have, you know if there's some e-commerce site that you admire a blog that you really like their theme and you want to figure out what they're using you can use these tools. Uh, there was a blog that I found yesterday that I really liked and I could not find what theme the woman who was running it was using and I think she probably either use the theme and heavily modified it um, or maybe had it custom built for her. So it's not going to work for custom builds and things like that, but assuming that somebody's using a theme off like Theme Forest or something like that, you should be able to find out what theme pretty much anybody's using. Um, you may be able to do something like this for Shopify too. I'd have to look into how to do that. But yeah, just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys how to figure out what WordPress themes uh, another blog or another e-commerce store is, is using if you want to try that out and maybe use the same theme. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this comes in handy for you. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and I will catch you guys on the next video.